strong national institutions and clear separation of powers, an independent and competent judiciary, a free press and a vibrant civil society. I welcome the proposal to set up SARC Independent Commission on Gender. South Asian women suffer from a wide range of disadvantages and discrimination. Women in our region have for some of the world's lowest rate of property ownership and political representation. It is our hope that a Commission on Gender can highlight these issues and work with governments to develop innovative strategies to dissolve gender inequality. To complement the work SARC has already achieved in promoting good governance, I hope we can also consider a regional mechanism for the promotion of good governance and human rights. I say this not because any of us are interested in finger-pointing and criticizing one another, nor do we want to reopen historical painful wounds, but we have a duty as leaders to improve the lives of our citizens. As we move forward to build a successful, strong and integrated, integrated region of democracies, I believe regional mechanisms would support and strengthen human rights governance. We are not moving for a decision at this stage, rather an open dialogue on this issue and Maldives would be happy to host such a discussion. We also need to make changes to the way SARC itself is governed. The SARC Secretary General, Her Excellency Diana Saeed, has put forward a number of recommendations to make our organization more effective. And I hope during this summit we will support all efforts to revitalize SARC. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we have a busy agenda. We may not be able to conclude everything in our interest. Quite rightly, our association is based on consensus. SARC is not a vehicle for revolution, but it is for evolution. Nevertheless, I hope we can build stronger bridges between our nations. Bridges of trade, travel and tourism, economical, economies, commercial and financial links, stronger ties on maritime and climate security, and improved governance and democratic connections. Ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellencies, we have many reasons to be optimistic. The fundamentals of our region are strong. We have a young, energetic population. We live in a region of vibrant democracies with strong civil society. As our economies race ahead, our political importance increases ever more. Let us not be held back by history or convention. Let us be the leaders our people want us to be. Let us change our region for the better. Let us change the world. Thank you. I thank the President of the Maldives, His Excellency, President Nasheed, for his inspiration. Thank you indeed. Excellencies, I now invite your attention to agenda number three, which is the adoption of the agenda for our meeting. We have before us the provisional and the annotated provisional agenda as contained in document number SARC slash summit point one seven slash one and two respectively. As these have been already considered by the Council of Ministers, I propose that we adopt them as circulated. I see no dissension. The agenda is hereby adopted. Excellencies, the next agenda item is the election of the chairperson for our meeting. In keeping with our tradition, it is my deep pleasure to propose His Excellency Mohammed Nasheed, 
President of the Republic of Maldives as the chairperson of the 17th SARC Summit by acclamation. It is now my pleasure to invite President Nasheed to take over the seat of the chairperson. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة الله أكبر الله 